Hello friends, <clears throat> we're going to look at a couple of different ways or strategies to do subtraction. We're going to unpack adding up in chunks or keeping a constant difference and really think about when might one strategy be a little friendlier than another. There's, there's, there's not a right answer to this question, it's actually based on you and how you approach the problem. So if somebody had 35 M&Ms and they gave away 17 and we said how many do you have left? Well, if we did adding up in chunks, one way we could look at it is on another line. Say, okay, we started 17, we went to 35. So I would say, well, how far away is 17 from 20? It's 3 away. How far is 20 from 35? It's 15 away. So the difference, the difference between 17 and 35 is a difference of 18. So that's adding up in chunks. Or, we do keep it a constant difference. You say, well, wait a second. What if I made 17 into a friendlier number? Made that into 20, made that into 38. What's 38 lose 20? It's also 18. So again, that's just one way to look at it. Let's look at another type of problem. What if you had 235 Skittles. You gave away 178 of them. Again, we can look at adding up in chunks as an option. So we had 178. We're going to know what's the difference between 178 and 235. So I can say, well, I know that 178 to 180 is two more. 180 to 200 there's 20 more. 200 to 235, there's 35 more. So if I add this all up, I have a total of 57. Another way we can look at it this way. 178 is 22 away from 200. So this is keeping a constant difference. I could also add 22 here. This gets me to 257. I subtract 257, lose 200, and I'm left with 57. So either way, we have the same solution. So again, it's not saying one way is better than another. It's, it's what's most efficient for you. Let's get one more possibility. What if we had 5,000 lose 2,877? Now, there actually is one way that's definitely more efficient because it's less steps. And let me show you what I mean. Before, with keeping a constant difference, we were adding. What if we just took one away? So what's one less than 5,000? 4,999. What's one less than 2,877? 2,876. So when we subtract, Well, that's an answer of 2,123. So keeping the constant difference in this capacity might be the most effective. Now again, other ones, you're going to say, well, it'd be more effective to use adding up in chunks. Let me give you an example of that. Here, it's like we're thinking about keeping a constant difference. What are we going to subtract or add to 128 to make it friendlier? Actually, it adds more steps. But if we said we're adding up in chunks, well, if I add to 128 and I add 2 to 200, wouldn't I add 72? If I went from 200 to 347, I had 147, so I'm adding 72 to 147 to be left with 219. So that'd be the difference. So again, it's nice to know both these strategies and realize that some problems it's going to be a little friendlier to use one than the other, but they're both going to be very effective strategies. Please ask if you have any questions.